All right, we've got Crimea Engineering. Let's see who we're up against. Okay, looks like we may be going first. Saxony Innovative can rush us. Ooh. Okay. So we're the strongest combo in this game. We've got to keep a close, close eye on Saxony. Engineering's an eight worker board. At least some people play with three. I like it with eight. Saxony can get, with this board, can get three mechs by about turn six. That's what he needs to rush us. And in turn six, I think we can make it to our mountain by turn six. So what we've got to do, we've got to make some workers. Got to build a speed mac. Oh, we lost sacks. Maybe they'll come back. Sometimes people disconnect at the beginning. Nordic is patriotic. That ca that board can rack up a lot of coin. Tagawa is agriculture. We do have to keep an eye on Tagawa too. Less of a concern with the agricultural board, but. It is possible for Tagawa to rush us. So since we can't produce again, obviously, let's get some metal. Two trade actions gets us a speed mac. Interesting with Nordic going to this, uh, this village up here rather than one over here. With no rust via it, it can be useful to be able to spread out to those areas. Hmm. Okay. So this is the engineering board. We definitely won enlist because we're Crimea. Oh Crimea, you're always gonna get enlist. Build our speed mech now. So there are basically two strategies with the engineering board that are both pretty viable. One is to skip buildings entirely and just try to rush the game. Produce once, grab a bunch of food and metal at the same time, and then use coercion. Spin our combat cards to make sure it's enough resources to only have to produce at one time. I don't like upgrades with Engineering Crimea, in any case. Not many of them anyway. We're probably going to do an upgrade 
but we'll just have to see how it goes. The other way to do this is to build buildings, and that's what we're going to try to do. The, the plus about building the buildings is you get a lot of coin and popularity for doing it. You also get a lot of power, so your combats are much easier to come by. The problem with skipping the buildings on the engineering board is you have to be opportunistic with your combats. You've got to look for the right moment, and you've also got to get a little bit lucky. Hope that the players around you aren't really keeping up their guard like they should. Let's see what Tagawa gets here. Tagawa can get power. I'm probably happy about that. can get an upgrade into food. They could get an enlist off of, a power enlist if they wanted to. But the two popularity is expensive. Unless they're going to go with a no popularity strategy. No. Going to go straight for the power. distribution of workers is always the question here. It gets a little complicated because of coercion. We're going to produce six food. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be enough for our next three enlists after this one. We're going to only produce two metal. Power doesn't hurt. We haven't even looked at our objectives yet. Farm territories. Farm one can be decide can be deceptively difficult to get unless you're Crimea and you have Wayfair. And then if Albion's not in the game, there's one. If Rusviet's not in the game, there's one. Of course, there's one in your home base, there's one in the tunnel. There are farms plenty. So, this one produce is going to give us enough for the rest of our enlists. And enough for one mech, and we'll just go from there. We may not need more than that. It's round seven. You do have to watch the space if Rusviet is in the game. Because, uh,. They're the only one with a food river walk, except for, of course, Albion and Tagawa can both get on there. Tagawa's a long way away, though. But Rusviet, if they play the strategy where they rush the factory and they have a speed mac, they can run down here and bump these workers and get this six food, which you can try to take the food back if you have a move action next turn. But getting the workers out... That's a pain. Okay. So 
now we're going to get our river walk Mac. Because our enlist is tied to move. And we'd like to start moving out of our home base a little bit. We have all the metal, probably have all the metal we need. And we definitely have all the food we need. Our combat cards down here look like they're good. We've got a four and a five. We can use this two on our move action. And that will give us another card when we enlist. So use a card, get a card, use a card, get a card. It also help if someone around us decided to, you know, enlist. All right. That farm is fairly safe with uh, no rust feed in the game. And Tagawa is still a long way away, so we need some wood. We go here, but Tagawa might mess with us right there. And Nordic doesn't seem that intent on building mechs. Let's go up in his neighborhood over here. And let's get enough here so we can do an upgrade. Let's do the power enlist. We're out on the board. Discourage people from attacking us. Nordic's building buildings, and they're not next to us. It's a little bit unfortunate. Oh good, Tagawa's going to start enlisting. Yeah, the agricultural board. It's going to help us in a major way. Okay, let's create our oil and this. So we can go card bolster to make our build cheaper or we can go power bolster. Um, but there being no chance that Saxony is going to enlist Tagawa is going to enlist. That's hard. We're going to go card. We may regret that. We may end up with cards of plenty and wish we had the extra power. But 
but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I feel good about my pacing at this point. We're not winning to go, was it tier two? But we're going to start moving now, spreading out a little bit. About to ruin Tagawa's day here. All right, time to move. Hmm, or we could build. You know what, Tagawa can't move next turn. I'm going to go ahead and build. What's our build bonus? Neighboring lakes. I um, guess we'll put it there. We're going to use a card. In one of these woods, we produced four to have enough for four buildings. So let's go ahead and build this monument first. Not going to work too hard to get the building bonus. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, we're definitely going to move now in case Saxony decides to go after us. That would really, would really kill our momentum. This is going well, we only have one star. We've got a building. We got two enlists. Several combat cards. And we just pulled into the lead slightly. Alright, it's time to start moving. Worker here. Worker here. Okay. You know, just in case Saxony gets any ideas. Oh, <laughs> well, this happens sometimes. We were going to focus on the farms later, but we got divide and conquer by accident, so happy accident. Would have liked to put a little more distance between us and Tagawa than that, considering how much we had to spread out for that to happen. See, now we're sitting on six cards. 
We've got three good ones, so that's really plenty. Now, what are you going to do, Tagawa? Are you going to move a work? Are you going to bump a worker back? You got a pop to give. Nordic is building buildings. It's going to hard get, be hard to get to 13 if that's your plan. All right. Fortunately, just going to get two power, I think. And wood. What are we going to do? Let's build a mine on the factory. Okay. That's nice. Six. Because we have four lakes. How many lakes do we need to get the next? We need two more unique lakes. Uh, those two would do it. Yeah. So next move action, we're going to use this mine and get a worker up here. Tagawa is going to bump this worker and try to take the factory. It's already at 10 popularity, what with all the Nordic's buildings. Yep, there it is. And here comes a trap token. Okay. What do we think that trap token is? Alright, let's live a little dangerously here. We've got two food. We know we're going to get our last enlist here. Oh, if it's the combat card one, I may live to regret this, but let's see what happens. Four coins. It's not a good one, but it's okay. This is really going to set Tagawa back. He doesn't have any mechs, he's not on metal, he doesn't have Shinobi as a result. So, he does have agriculture, so he can trade twice and build a mech, but that's a lot of distance he just lost. So 
We're going to have to tag somebody, probably for our last combat star. Zax needs to know where, where we can really get to effectively. It's gonna take us forever to get there and then back to our Nordic. That should have been a big jump in points. Yeah, we're at 71. Got the full building bonus. We just hit tier 2. We can probably give up tier 2 if we need to. If we get a chance for a combat that will end. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, what's your power situation, Nordic? Seven and four. We won't gain a territory because we'll have to use both max or the um, use the character. Guarantee a win. Alright, here comes combat star number two. Probably should have left that wood. Chance Saxony tries to attack us here. Leaving ourselves a little vulnerable. I was a little lazy, probably would have thought that through a little bit better if it wasn't a bot. I may pay for that. Just have to build one more building. Nope. Bot's gonna bot. Well, alright then, here we are. It's about to be turn 17. We have a wood, we have a combat card. And we only have one building to build. Let's check the score. Game's pretty well in hand. I think this is gonna be game. Just hit 13 popularity. Still not enough though. We're gonna give him two more. We're gonna skip both of these. Save the coin. We don't need either one. It doesn't really matter where we put this. We have full, full building bonus. Alright, guys. That is Crimea Engineering. Only took us 17 turns. And we came away with 84 coin. 
not bad. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I will catch you guys later.